Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Leo. Wow, for the month of November, a wish is coming. So excited for that, being a fellow Leo. Um, so, if you have not been to my channel, I just want to say welcome. Um, my name is Dee, I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer. And I help women heal from toxic relationships through really healing their childhood and releasing the energy that is stuck in their energy field. So um, I do have a brand new course out called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you're interested in learning more, wow, guys, seriously, <laughs> stay with me here. Um, you can find out more. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a shocking reading here. Um, anyway, you can find out more about that course down in the description box and in the comments below. But wow. All right. So, we got some stuff happening here. Let's see. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do go live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time talking about different things, about toxic relationships, spirituality, all that good stuff. So make sure um, you hit the subscribe, the little bell notification to get notified. I need to clarify this, actually, so just give me a second. What's this Wheel of Fortune here for? Let's pull out two cards. Hmm. Okay. So, overall energy. Nine of Cups. You're wishing for something. You have this wish. What is it, guys? Let me know in the comments. Like, what are you wishing for? And I feel as though... You've been wishing for this. There's something that you're trying to manifest, trying to call in, but definitely the overall energy for the month of November, like maybe you're joining my course because that's what this is all about. It's literally about bringing something into your life, manifesting, wishing for it to come true. All right. So let me know uh, what that is down below. So we've got in the beginning of the month, we've got the eight of cups. We've got the queen of pentacles and we have the ace of cups. So we're walking towards something better here. Maybe we're walking towards our spirituality. Maybe we're walking towards um, ourselves. We could also be walking towards um, independence and also maybe even another relationship. But you've got the queen of pentacles and I, I feel as though you're walking away from something for something better. Okay, because you've got the Ace of Cups here too. So this is a brand new beginning. So I do feel like you're leaving something behind. That's not really what this card is about. It's not, for me, the Eight of Cups is not about like leaving something and just letting go. It's literally about moving towards something better. And unfortunately, you have to let something go. Okay, so not the same thing in my mind. <laughs> let me know about yours, but definitely not the same thing in my mind. So but you are walking more towards this energy of wanting peace and wanting love and wanting happiness in your life. And I had said this, I think it was in the Gemini video, where it's like, I work with women who have been feeling this way of anxiety and depression and not feeling enough for like their whole lives. And I feel as though this month is the month that you start to be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I need something else. And that's where I'm feeling here because I'll say that because in the middle of the month here, we've got the High Priestess card, we've got the Tower card, and we've got the Two of Swords. So this High Priestess is all about connection. This is about using your intuition. Um, but in this reading with the Tower card right next to it, I feel as though when you connect spiritually, when you finally um, see yourself as your higher self or see yourself as a spiritual being instead of defining yourself as everything that you've been through in your life and somehow feel like feel you feel like that defines you when you let that go and you open your eyes when you awaken to your self-worth there's a big tower moment here because at that point it feels like you have been blinded your whole life so I definitely feel there's like a spiritual awakening here um, in my From Pain to Power mentorship. I call this like um, a self-worth awakening because your self-worth is always with you. However, 
we just don't see it because we've been blinded. And that's exactly what this two of swords here is about. Is like she's got the swords to cut that cut that um, you know, blindfold off, but she doesn't use it. And that's the same thing about like your self-worth. When you awaken your self-worth, it's like you're just cutting a blindfold off. Nothing changes on the outside. It's all what is your perception of it is. And I'll, I'll get to that in the minute, minute. But literally, the tower moment is about letting go of the beliefs that have been put on you of who you are. Let me know if that's resonating with you in the comments or if that even makes sense of how I'm explaining that to you. Because there's been a dark shadow over you for so, so long. And this month in November, and I feel like maybe that's your wish. Again, remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But maybe that could be your wish. Like they said, like you're wishing for knowing that the universe has your back, knowing that, you know, every day you wake up and you're kind of excited about what the day may or may not bring. Um, but definitely realizing that you've been blinded for a long time here. And especially if you've been through toxic relationships, you know, being with narcissists and stuff like that gaslighting. I have a video on YouTube. You can check that out. Um, but definitely, you know, you've been blinded for a really long time and it's not at your fault. Okay. Now going into the end of the month, which I absolutely love is we've got the 10 of cups. We've got the three of swords and we have the wheel of fortune here. Okay. So the 10 of cups is about that happy home and happy life. Now, it might come with some heartbreak. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you awaken your self-worth or when you have your spiritual awakening, people around you, and this could be part of this tower card, don't understand. They have been doing the same dance with you for a really long time. And now all of a sudden, completely like overnight, maybe over the week, over a month, right? You start seeing things different. You start acting different. You start being different. Maybe you don't freak out as much as usual, right? Maybe you see, you like, you're just different. And people, all the women that I work with, they're like, my friends have noticed the difference. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome, right? But then what happens is like the friends don't stick around. And that could be something scary for you. It's like, I don't want to heal because then I'll lose all my friends. Well, listen, you want to be miserable with the miserable tribe that you have, or do you want to be happy and attract happy people to you so that you're all happy together, okay? It's just part of awakening is losing your friends, losing people around you because they're uncomfortable. That's their problem, not yours, not yours, okay? But what happens is you've got the wheel of fortune here. This also might mean that like, you know, you realize that the relationship that you're in, um, I don't want to deter you from healing guys here, but everything that you think is bad that might come out of healing this tower moment, like, oh, I'm just going to stay where I am because, you know, at least I know what I have here. But imagine what you can have when you actually heal yourself, the life that you can have. I would never have thought I'd be in this house with my dog and my two kids by myself being able to afford it, right? I would never have thought that four years ago when my marriage broke up. So don't keep thinking about what you're going to lose Think about what you can gain. And that's the Wheel of Fortune because it starts the ball rolling here. And you've got the Ten of Cups again. Oh, I'm sorry. These are the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Coins, right? So this is even better because this is that abundance. This is the manifestation. And you also have the Hangman, Suspense and Waiting. But the Hangman is about seeing things in a different perception. And that's what I'm talking about here is a lot of the times we don't want to heal. We don't want to fix ourselves. We don't want to do all of that. You know, sometimes we don't want to go to therapy. And listen, therapy is great, um, but energy healing is really where it's at to, to uh, really kind of release that energy that's been stuck. And that's a whole nother video. But the hangman is about don't think about what you're going to lose. Think about what you're going to gain. Very important. All right, so we've got... My soul truth cards, which I love. I just love this box. I mean, isn't this beautiful? I love this deck. Um, and I love the questions because I'm a question person. So therefore, this is our question. Ah, see? Okay, cool. I'm going to give you two questions here. 
Wow, these cards came up a lot this month for different signs. So the first question we have here is, what do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? And when we turn it over, it says, how does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money? Does money trust you? Money is an energy. It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it, and it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to a whole of you and your purpose. So today's sole action is to take a deep dive in your money, in your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story as it is time for a sacred shift. What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because... And I love this, especially for the Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance because we go really heavily into manifesting money and how to do that and the beliefs that you have to get rid of in order to do that. So definitely, what is your relationship with money? Because if you're trying to manifest something, but you don't believe that it's even possible, or you have a horrible relationship with money, and that can mean many, many different things, um, it's gonna, you're going to have a hard time manifesting the money. So what do you believe about money? So ask yourself that. And the other question here is, am I apologizing for my truth? Now, I like this card. Before I even turn it over, I'm already getting the synchronicity of your truth as in, you know, the awakening. Do not, awake, do not apologize for changing your beliefs. Do not apologize for shifting your perception. Do not apologize for being spiritual. Um, you know, it's one of those things when I came out of the spiritual closet, and I think this is going to go into, um, yeah, your story. And when I came out of the spiritual closet, that's so funny because I think Gemini, I think I had mentioned Gemini, right? And I think that's this chord too. Um, but when I came out of the spiritual closet, I was like so nervous because it's like nobody really talks about spirituality. And, but a lot of people are, but we just don't talk about it to each other because we're worried about being judged. And it's time to like let go of that worry about being judged and start to share and be proud of who you are and what you believe in. And that's like part of this middle of the month thing here too. So what part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Excuse me, today's sole action. Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Courage is contagious. Courage is contagious. When you speak your truth, I swear, when I came out on Facebook, um, it was like the people that I least thought, like the people that I thought would judge me were actually spiritual. So it's just so funny to me that like we don't come out with it more because we're so scared of being judged. But like, I'm sorry, but I love spirituality because we get to believe what we want to believe. Whatever resonates, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That's all, I, that's all I ever say. So speak your truth and share your story. Since I've come out with my story about going through, you know, this marriage and getting divorced and it was toxic and narcissist and, you know, having to deal with him being with someone a week after and so many women have resonated with that story. And we get to work together and I can help them heal from that journey because I've done it and I've been there. So don't apologize for your truth and share your story because your story is going to help other people. So definitely share your story. So comment below sharing my story if that makes sense and you have been feeling like you want to tell people. And I feel especially for women, and I love you guys too, but um, for women, you know, we're not supposed to speak up. We're not supposed to tell. And that's so common and it needs not to be. So it's important to share your story and let other people out there know that it's not just them and that other people have been through what they've been through too. All right. And you might help people heal and all of that. So I just love that. So anyway, so I hope this resonates with you and realize that the wish, so the message that I got in the beginning was that the wish that you want is going to come but it's gonna come at an expense. But the expense 
is what's going to make it worth it. Okay. It has to come at the expense. Things have to change. So we talk about sacrifice. So it's either you're going to sacrifice what you want, or you're going to sacrifice your habits or your comfortableness, your comfortableness, because you can't get those results when you keep doing the same thing. So you've got to sacrifice something and it might be people, it might be situations, it might be locations, like I've moved. Um, there's just a lot of things that can come, but I will tell you that the journey, when you let the universe drive, the journey is absolutely so much more than you can even imagine. So believe in that and trust in that, all right? So if you're interested in taking my Unself, uh, Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance course, you can definitely check that out in the description box and the comments below. If you're interested in finding out if you're a good fit for my From Pain to Power mentorship, where we really dive deep into the childhood and subconscious beliefs and release all the energy and you really awaken your self-worth here, um, you can actually find that in the description box. Uh, there's like a little quiz or a little questionnaire that you can take to see if you're a good fit for the program. So you can find that in the description box below as well. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will be live Tuesday nights, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Much love to all of you. Go get them, Leos. Love you. Bye.